right, we have another edition of NREMT Skills Assessment VVM Ventilation of an Apneic Adult Patient. It's a quarantine edition, we're working from home. And before we begin, I want to make sure that I have the appropriate equipment that I'll need for the exercise. I have the oxygen tank, the regulator is already attached to the device. We know how to operate the flow of the oxygen. And we have a tank that's full of at least 2,000. PSI. I've got an O2 hose that's going to go to my BVM. I have the mask part and the refill bag. I've got my suction catheter. Looks like I've got battery. I've got my rigid suction catheter here. I've got the patient. I've got my PPE. And one slight modification for this exercise is I've got a teaspoon instead of an oral pharyngeal adjunct. Should work correctly, it's about the right size. Before beginning this exercise, I would measure the OPA from the corner of the patient's mouth to the jaw. It's about the right size and should be appropriate for this exercise. Okay, I am ready to begin BVM ventilation of an apneic adult patient. Again, we're going to put on our appropriate PPE. While I'm doing that, I'm going to assess the scene, ensuring for scene safety. And I'm going to determine that it looks like I have one patient here. I'm going to approach the patient. Sir, are you okay? Sir, are you okay? The patient is unresponsive to verbal. I'm going to give a sternum rub to apply painful stimulus. And it appears that this patient is unresponsive to painful stimulus. So I'm going to call for ALS backup. I'm going to check for the carotid pulse and breathing simultaneously. It appears that this patient is apneic and has a weak pulse of 60 beats per minute. So I'm going to use the head tilt chin lift and open the patient's airway and look inside. It looks like the mouth and oropharynx are full of vomitus and secretion, so I'll prepare my rigid suction catheter. Grab the tube out and the catheter. I'm going to turn on the device. And then I'm going to open that airway manually. Insert the catheter without suction, as far as I can see. Apply suction and a sweeping motion. No more than 15 seconds towards the front of the mouth. Clear out the secretions. Let's recheck the patient's airway. It appears that the mouth and oropharynx are clear. So I'll take my OPA, I'm going to insert that into the patient's mouth, and 180 degrees, sweep that tongue aside. Looks like the patient accepts the adjunct and the airway uh, is open. Get my oxygen tank going here. Turn it on to, let's go 20 liters per minute. In the C to C motion uh, position, I'm gonna hold the mask around the patient's mouth and administer one ventilation. Now I'm going to administer ventilations once every five or six seconds. That's equal to 10 or 12 per minute. I'm also using high concentration oxygen of at least 90 percent between 15 and 25 liters per minute. Since I've got a few ventilations there, I'm going to recheck the carotid pulse for no more than 10 seconds. It appears this patient's condition is unchanged. So I'm going to continue ventilations and I'm going to count them off for one minute of one ventilation. Two, three, four, five. Two ventilations. Through two, three, four, five. Three ventilations. One. Two, three, four, five. Four ventilations. One, 
two, three, four, five. Five ventilations. One, two, three, four, five. Six ventilations. One, two, three, four, five. Seven ventilations. One, two, three, four, five. Eight ventilations. One, two, three, four, five. Nine ventilations. One, two, three, four, five. Ten ventilations. But I know I was administering my ventilations appropriately because I saw equal and adequate rise and fall of the chest. I also had a nice tight seal around the patient's nose and mouth. No air was coming out there. And because it's a mannequin, I saw that my stomach was not inflating as well so that I had an open, patent airway and the air was going into the lungs appropriately. That concludes BVM ventilation of an apneic adult patient.